Hi. Hey guys, so I'm here today with Brian from Snake Bites TV and we are going around looking at the Reptile Expo and Pet Expo. We're starting in the fish section today and then we're going to go over to the reptile section so Brian can show me some cool stuff. We're going to see some cool stuff guys. I promise I'm going to get her up and close and personal with those animals. Excited to show you guys what we got. Ever. These are all tetras. These little guys are tiger barbs. You a fish connoisseur? The guy said over there that they're gonna start doing glow light sharks, so that'll be interesting. Oh, uh, GMO stuff. Yeah. I've never been into the glows. It's always been a little odd to me. Cool, but and this is a discus tank right here. These guys are fresh water. Now you're gonna need at least a 55 gallon tank. This is 74 gallons. And this is a good size tank for just a small group of discus. They do get very large, but they do great in planted tanks. Jellyfish can only live in circular tanks because if you give them a square tank, they're going to either go to the bottom, go to the top, and you can't keep the circulation going. So as long as it's circular, the flow makes them keep going. Win a beta. Yes. Can a beta be shipped to Texas? Sure. Wow. How do you win a beta? You throw a ball in the cup that has a fish. Are you guys driving it? No. Flying? Yep. Get a beta when you're in Texas. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I stand right here at this line. What is that line for? That's for the toppers. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, I, I do let people go up there, uh -huh. but you have to do it backwards and you have to put one foot in the air while you're doing oh, it. Oh, I got that. I have to, I have to throw You it? have to squat one, one foot in the air and then throw it. I have heels on. I'm going to like throw it so far. Yeah. And I like to turn my head. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where did it go? One behind. I'm going back over here. Okay. What the heck? I live here. I'll take it. <laughs> you want a beta? So close. Oh, 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 oh. No, that was far. What was I, that? Mean, I threw mine over it. Awesome tank. I would probably put more in it than just tetras, but oh, there's some angels in there. It's a really pretty tank. to it so this is just the next thing. You gotta step up and the tailor's gonna do it. I can't not do it. I tried to help hold it was a it was a pair of satanics but they weren't trying to yeah, so. now are these just giant ones? Are they mossy or are they giant? Okay. So I have a giant leaf tail gecko here. <laughs> No, the giant okay. yeah. What's it, are these Frimbriatus or are these, uh, yeah. what, what's the uh, Frimbriatus? Okay. What are you doing here? Did you guys 
random stand. There's jelly and thanks. Alright, here it goes, guys. It's a little bit of heat now. <laughs> Starting to feel it? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Can you have these? Are they gluten free? Alright, there, All right. there cool. it is. So we're trying, we're trying the ghost jelly because Ryan did it, so I feel like I have to do it now. So I'm gonna try it, hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> and now you're kind of making me thankful I didn't. Come on, Dixie, Dixie. Oh. <laughs> what are y'all feeding her? About 100, a day, feed 100 yeah. uh, uh, super worms. So yeah. You know, small wrap up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. We found hog noses. Taylor is interested in a hog nose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This right. is Taylor. Western hog nose here. Yes. Um, Those are the ones. These I'm front watching. four here. They were born in uh, July mm -hmm. of uh, last year, okay. and uh, their dad was a uh, extreme red pet albino, okay. and mom is an orange albino. Okay. Cool. Um, so some of the babies are kind of picking up a little bit of that. Yeah, the color. Right? Yeah. I like this one. He's nice. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, he's in shed right now. He's he's pretty. Uh, pretty flamey. Almost looks yeah. like he's on fire. He's That's got a lot awesome. of. He might even be the one I pick, honestly. Lustery. Okay. So he'll put up more fight yeah. than the other baby. He's also twice the size. Yeah, he's I the, like his size. His size it's, is it's so funny. He's, he's the same. He's put on weight way fat. They're the same like I have a Kenyan right now, Sam Boa. Yeah, so they just don't similar. get. It. So when you when you have a bigger female like this, mm -hmm. she's she's about average yeah. for a female. You can really see those those keeled mm -hmm. scales, pretty similar to like a rattlesnake. Right? And, yeah. and since they're not a constrictor, mm -hmm. you know, when you're handling them, you almost have to hold on to them. They're yeah. not going to hold on to you quite yeah. as well. No, I want the bigger snake, honestly, because my Kenyan is a male, so he's going to be tiny. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, even even a hog knows when they're bigger, they're still yeah. manageable. You know, this is okay. to meet you. I'll hug because so, I know you have a hand. Can I take a picture with yes, you? Yes, for sure, cool. definitely. Yeah. We're filming right now, so you can say hi to my YouTube. <laughs> so here. Hey, YouTube. Hi. She's in California. She's great. Watch her videos. It's pretty awesome. Thank you. Well, my tarantula is a jerk. So, yeah. Oh. I've ever seen, honestly. Just the parrots outlive the owners, and the yeah. family doesn't want them. So you know, we that's get them always in where they look fantastic and amazing. And sometimes we get them in, and they've got their feet burned off, and broken wings, and blind, and you name it. What's this guy's story? She's got an interesting story, actually. She's uh, one of roughly 1,200 left in the world. She's a uh, blue-throated macaw, mm -hmm. and she was part of a breeding program to try to breed and reintroduce the species into the wild. And they were so successful that they had too many of her bloodline and literally cannot 
lose her because they would be in the So uh, we got her, and she now comes out, greets people, and people get to see and handle an animal that is critically endangered that they might not ever have an opportunity to see in their life. dog recently and they told me she was pure Doberman really? but her ears are very floppy and she's spawn she's not like very light so it's no one ever pegs her as Doberman when I take her out okay so, um, okay well, cool because I've always been confused <laughs> I think it's focused I honestly yeah, can't it's good. okay so that wraps up the video for today I had a lot of fun out here with Brian and make sure to check out his channel because he has some really awesome stuff if you guys like snakes and reptiles you love his stuff he has so many cool videos and we finally got myself a hog nose. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you can check out his stuff and I'll see you guys next time or you know, you'll see me, whatever. Yes, adore you all of the time. I like to bork bork. <laughs> <laughs>